Well, greetings, fellow citizens. This is Citizen Kong, and it's another Fez night. A Fez night that almost didn't happen. I almost postponed Fez night because uh, me with my delicate constitution uh, didn't feel that well again today. Um, I'll I'll start I'll start by uh, uh, I got a call from my ex girlfriend. I kind of had my Sunday all my lazy Sunday all mapped out, you know kind of routine. I was going to catch up on all my uh, comments on YouTube and, uh, you know, prepare for Fez night and, I don't know, just catch up. I'm way behind on, on viewing, looking at other people's videos. I know I say it every Fez night. And I get a call from, from her and she would like to go out for breakfast and go for a drive out in the country. And last time we did that, it was okay. So I decided to, uh, I decided to put everything off and, and do it, even though we, we just don't get along. And, uh, but anyway, so we went, we went driving out to, uh, out to the country to this cafe and, uh, breakfast was terrible. I hated it. She hated it. And, um, and then later, I think whatever it is, it made me sick. <sighs> And then uh, on the on the way back, <laughs> neither one of us are talking because I just know if I talk, it'll just make things worse. And uh, so I I uh, put the iPod on shuffle. You know I have it I have it plugged in. You know so it'll play in my car. And uh, uh, a monkey's an old monkey's tune came on Pleasant Valley, Valley Sunday. And me, you know, when I'm driving, listen to the radio, I sing along. You know. And so uh, I'm singing along to Pleasant Valley Sunday. Another Pleasant Valley Sunday. You know, it's not that bad. And uh, later she, she says, well, because I, I, I missed an exit. She says, well, I hope you don't miss the next exit because I'm at my breaking point. I said, well, what's wrong? I said, she says, I can't, I can't stand to hear you singing along to that, that teeny bop tune. I was like, God, I don't know how I ever got involved with somebody who had such, oh, I want to say more. I just never know. She might watch this video, and it's just bad enough that I'm saying that, what I'm saying, because she's a very private person. But um, she's still in my life. <laughs> and we'll promise not to talk to each other, and then, and then uh, she'll need something. <laughs> All right, enough of that. Okay. Fez night. Well, as tradition says, Fez night, we have a different drink. I'm still on a beer kick. Tonight's beer is Newcastle Brown Ale. I love this stuff. It's great. And if any of you picked up on, on Citizen Kong, I'm, I'm a bit of an Anglophile. I don't like the royal family and all that business. But I like stuff about the UK. What can I say? You know, I've got my, my uh, Union Jack coffee mug here. I'm drinking Newcastle. Um, I had a bottle opener here. I guess we'll have to make do. Um, Swiss Army knife. Very handy. This 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 Swiss Army knife is pretty cool because uh, this one, if I can find it, has a bottle opener on it. And for the longest time, Swiss Army knives didn't have bottle openers. As long as you can find it. All right, yes, but uh, I was not feeling well, feeling nauseous. So, Newcastle Ale, another Fez night. I thank my new subscribers and just babble incoherently. So, if I'm a little off my game tonight, please, please forgive. All right, to my new subscribers and my loyal subscribers and all the wonderful people that leave comments, cheers. might just be feeling a little better now. Okay. So, all right, first I gotta say, I am wearing, okay, oh, this is my, remember these guys? Uh, what were they called? Goofy Grape 
Funny Face, that Kool-Aid drink or whatever. It was the it was the copy of Kool-Aid by Pillsbury. Well, anyway, that's on my T-shirt. Okay, this this people is a chicken foot necklace, which was the uh, prize for me participating in the Leon Show's Solve the Crime contest, and uh, uh, the Leon Show is so generous that. Uh, that um, I'll have to say, I, I guess it's okay, Jeff. Jeff, but the man behind the Leon show, uh, awarded the prize to both Citizen Kong and Old Frank. So, so thanks, Jeff. <laughs> this is just crazy. Well, I hope the voodoo necklace will change my luck because I could sure use it. All right, so um, moving along. All right. Um, I've got a new subscriber, Cable Car, 69. All right, welcome. I'm looking at his, uh, at his profile page here, and apparently he likes the uh, San Francisco uh, talk radio jock, Ray Talif Talifero, and uh, he's got a lot of his favorites from um, DRSNK. DRSNK, my very first subscriber, so he's always got a special place, special place in Citizen Kong's heart, DRSNK, great guy. And um, so I guess his politics are, uh, I don't see all Mike Savage here, so he must be a little bit left of center. Um, and if you're not, I don't mean to insult you. I mean, either way, I, I take everybody here. I've got a big tent. So welcome aboard, Cable Car 69. It's K-A-B-L-K-A-R, Cable Car. It looks like Cable Car. So I'm assuming he might live in San Francisco. I hope, to, hope not to give you away, but it's just a guess. All right. <clears throat> now, I am truly honored that I have the, uh, the titans of subscribers. I have the Leon Show. I mean, comedy. The comedy titans. It's a whole different, different era, area. Not like Coffee Dude and, and Methadone for Life and Asriel Judgments and, you know, the, the big hitters in the political area. And uh, excuse me if I left anybody out. Oh, Free Soldier. Free Soldier, man. He's a star. But these are the, um, the comedy guys. So I've got uh, Old Frank and uh, The Leon Show. And I'm welcoming, very, very honored, to welcome Doc Rusty as one of my subscribers. Doc Rusty is just awesome. He's going to be taking a break. Excuse me. Um, but he's going to be posting more uh, tales of, of sick and twisted madness of uh, wigwam industries and and uh, funny stuff about you know how he's wreaking evil on the world <laughs> all right um okay i've got a new subscriber i run to walk for life and this is one of these uh other these artsy people that kind of do like their screen names are like these long sentences so Pretty cool. I run to walk for life. I think that's what it means. And uh, he looks very cool. Very nice, cool page. Stuff about on riding a motorcycle. I think his politics are uh, on the right, which is cool. I mean, I, I get a kick when I get conservative subscribers. I do, because uh, it means that I'm somewhat, I'm not completely mad. 